everyone welcome to another video in this video i will show you how you can enable power platform pen or power automate pen inside canvas apps you see there are many options available in canvas apps right there is tree view there is insert and data and next is media then i have enabled power automate pen right whenever you want to call power automate flow from your canvas app sometimes you require to go to actions and click on power automate right now in previously if you have not enabled this power pen it's normally opens a side right side pen which is a temporary pen right now you can uh, add this uh, enable this power automate persistent uh, pen which will be available at left side pen in the canvas apps and it requires to enable that it's not by default coming it's an upcoming feature so how to enable that so you have to go to settings and here if you go to upcoming features if you scroll down all the way you will find there is an option called as enable power automate pen so this pen enable power automate pen you have to enable this and once you enable this it will ask you that whether you want to uh, reopen the app or not because once you enable this then only when you reopen the app canvas app then only the automate power automate will uh, display here in the left side right now if if you reopen then only it will display otherwise it will not display right now i have already enabled it so it is displaying here now this is how you can enable power automate so this will give you more option more flexible way to uh, connect power automate from canvas apps right so if you have any existing flow that you have created uh, that is having a, a power apps uh, a trigger then you can see all the flow here in the list otherwise if you want to create a new flow then you can just click on new flow which will open the flow in a new window and here you can create your flow right which is instant flow so to connect microsoft flow or power automate from canvas apps you have to use power apps and you can take power apps b2 version 2 and you can add some input let's say i want to add some input let's say email body or email subject and uh, I want to add also to whom I want to send email to right let's say I want to send an email through flow or power automate from canvas apps so how can I call that right I can also take email body right now I can add a new step so all the parameters are defined here which has to be passed from this canvas apps uh, whenever I call this power automate I can give a name here let's say send email instant right now I want to use send email so I can use let's say gmail connector I can use gmail and I can use send email so if you have already connected it will not ask you for authorization otherwise you have to authorize manually or you have to give consent that power platform can use gmail to send email right because gmail is your email client right so i can use that and allow it right now i can use that power apps uh, input parameters in my send email action so to whom i want to send i want to send to this parameter email to so i can use this email to i can click on add dynamic content i can use email to then in the subject also i can use email subject then in the body email body right now i can save it as soon as you save and go to the power apps in the canvas apps the power automate will be listed in this canvas apps power automate pen right so it is still saving once it is saved i can go back to the power apps now i can close this and i can go here to check right i can refresh it if if your uh, flow is not listed here you can just click this refresh now you can see this right if you connect if you want to call power automate uh, from canvas app you just add that flow instant flow in here in power automate pan 
then you can use it right now immediately if i will call this power automate from canvas apps i can take a button here and that button can call power automate let's say i'll use send email and while sending email i can just go to this on select and just call the power automate name power automate name is send email instant so i can just write down send email instant instant dot run right this method takes three parameters you see the first parameter is the email subject so what is the subject you can take some static text let's say sample subject you can make it more uh, dynamic by taking some more fields the second parameter is email to to whom i want to send let's say i want to send to myself okay and the next is email body right i can take sample email body right and close the bracket right now let me run it and click on this send email now the matching dots are running at the top and after some time it will send the email if i'll check my email then i can see a email is triggered right this the first one sample email sample subject and sample email body so this is how you can uh, use persistent uh, power automate uh, pan inside from within the canvas apps instead of a you know temporary pan power uh, power automate pan so i hope it helps thanks thanks for watching this video see you next time